Lily finds it hard to believe that a member of the famous water-diving company of crazed venturers with tales of rescuing slave girls, fighting demigods, possessing pieces of the chessmen of Ulthamur, and even building their own keep. The founder of Helm's Hold itself, and the white master of dragons of the Citadel of Mists, well, whatever that may mean, would be a prisoner here at his own hold, according to the little boy Johnny at least. And here he is, an aged Helmite with gray hair, who looks as if he's been given barely enough food and water to even survive. Greetings. I am Dumal, Watch Knight of Helm. It is good to see a face of reason amidst the ravings. I suppose being caged is better than torture, but at least during those sessions I could pass out if I tired of their rhetoric. Of course, Johnny mentioned Dumal, asking, uh, of course, his version of events. The hold was my home until it was infiltrated. A third of our number were spies. Betrayers. It was terrible. They killed most of us, but we weren't even their target. It was just to support an attack somewhere else. A day ago, Dester returned and seemed to have a new plan. I thought I was dead for sure, but I think he's forgotten about me. Yeah, what is Dester up to? He's been hearing screams, mostly. I think something has gone wrong for these cult invaders. I think their agents in Neverwinter are being abandoned. Dester led them, but he's no longer needed for some reason. Next thing you know, he's raising undead all over. It's disgusting. Looks like he's trying to gather power for himself, but I doubt this old one cult will be impressed. Whether he's one of these people of the eye or not, they seem done with him. Asking what he knows about the cult. Madness. These people, the eye, are all fanatics, content to be a cog in their master's machine, even if it makes no sense. They attacked Neverwinter for no reason, or at least no reason that had been told. The plague would never have lasted without them. They might be based out of the north, but I've never heard of the people of the eye or the old ones before. And Desser has not been forthcoming with information regarding the old ones. Alright. I'd come with you, but I wouldn't be of any help. I'm too weak. If you have any other questions, I'll be here until the fighting stops. He's only a watch knight, and he claims to be too weak to assist the Inquisitor General. Why do Helmites never seem to be men of action? Well, at least starting to doubt the stories altogether. Helm's Hold, built on lies and tall tales. And in the cell across from Damal, a raving half-orc with green hair, who looks absolutely insane, bearing a strange medallion on his chest. Needless to say, they will speak through the bars. Well met. All right, here's Yari the Knife, an insane-looking half-orc. Which is why Lily didn't want to open the door. He's laughing. You know, I would have thought that killing the Helmites of this place once would be enough. But no. Next thing you know, they're raising up all over. Lucky thing I trapped myself in here. Yeah. Lucky, damn it. All right. It sounds like he was, well, working for Das there. Or at least the people of the eye. Das there's men. Das there's. Das there's a tool like everyone. Like you. Some of us are just happy to serve. All right, it certainly sounds like a cultist. His time is done. He should have accepted the glorious role he was given. He only delays the inevitable. 
You, you will pay as well. And never winter. The past comes to haunt and you'll be the dead one soon enough. Yeah, asking who his masters are. No more truth for you. No more. You'll learn what you need as you're fed through it. Laughing. The past comes to haunt. Perhaps the people of the eye are exacting revenge for some past injustice they believe was perpetrated by the city of Neverwinter. No matter. Let one of Lord Nasher's lackeys interrogate him. I just wanted to remark about the title Master of Dragons. Iltmol, the original white Master of Dragons, was a monk of Helm. And this is actually a reference to first edition which had level titles. Monks began as novices at first level and aspired to become Master of Dragons at eighth level. However, there could only be three Master of Dragons in existence at any one time. The white, the green, and the red. So when a monk qualified to become a Master of Dragons, they temporarily gained the level and had to defeat in single hand-to-hand -hand combat and without weapons or magic items one of the existing Master of Dragons. And if they failed, they lost the level and had to try again later after gaining additional experience. Beyond the white, green, and red, Master of Dragons were single monks that had to be challenged as well, including Masters of the North, West, South, and East Winds. Masters of Winter, Autumn, Summer, and Spring, and the Grand Master of Flowers himself. Yeah, this menu came up before, and I have to admit, <laughs> I've never seen it before for crafting, which was introduced in expansion. So I actually can't take advantage of it here in the official campaign. But uh, yeah, sorry about that. Chloe will catch his attention. Hopefully Bones will sneak up behind him. Just uh, something simple, Rod of Frost. All right, crew. Let's take them down. All right. Magic missile. Actually, you know what? Just Rod of Frost. A fanatical gnome underling of the false watch knight Dester, still wearing the tattered cloaks of the Helmites. Though, if he was guarding the door, from which direction Lily wonders? Look at this, we're back outside by the farmhouse. Alright, it's a back door essentially to Helm's Hold. But of course, there are un some of Dester's undead out here. What is that? A ghoul lord. Sure enough, one of them was invisible, the uh, skeleton mage. Yeah. 
In the tall grass, it's hard to find the skeletal remains. Perhaps Grimnaw and his scythe would have been handy after all. A large bone. A thigh bone, to be exact. The Lady of Murder laughs, asking the black leg board what her mistress should carve from it. Boot blades? A hairpin? A toothpick? Little red scowls. She'll whittle a wand, of course. Actually, the level titles of 1st edition are pretty interesting. It was a nice feature that added some flavor as players felt the sense of accomplishment reaching what they called Name Level, the highest titled level for a class. Druids, Paladins, Illusionist, this is before the 2nd edition Mage class, mind you, and Thieves weren't called such until they reached Name Level. They started out as lowly aspirants, gallants, prestigitators, and rogues instead, respectively. Clerics began as acolytes and aspired to be patriarchs, or later the high priest. Fighters began as veterans and aspired to be lords. And rangers began as runners, aspiring to be ranger lords. Hi there. Yeah, I think Louie and company might as well lighten their packs a little. Assassins began as bravos, and aspired to be the guildmaster of assassins, or later the grandfather of assassins. And magic users, much like illusionists, began as prestigitators, making their way through evoker, conjurer, theurgist, thaumaturgist, magician, enchanter, warlock, sorcerer, necromancer, and finally wizard. Note that this is also before the concept of schools of magic. Interestingly enough, Mage was an alternate title for 16th level, and Archmage an alternate title for 18th level magic users. Also, not only did Druids have later titles like Archdruid or The Great Druid, but Druids at 3rd level were considered Initiates of the 1st Circle, and each level thereafter were considered Initiates of the 2nd, 3rd, and higher circles, all the way through the ninth Circle. Meaning, even though the technical association of a title with a particular level is absent, we still see evidence of the conceptual rank they imply now. For example, Henna is a defender of the third circle of the Druid's Grove in Neverwinter Wood, a challenge not restricted to Druids aspiring to fifth level. <laughs> not that Lily even knew that that was her title when she scried her boots. And Dumal Arard is a white master of dragons, one of only three in the realms, despite not even being a monk at all. <laughs> 